I'm the Jag. I'm Pete. And you're watching Make Me a Fan. And today is the main event of Rogue Wrestling's Thanksgiving Throwdown. We got hashtag Pete's Picks on the way. If you're looking at the picks right now on the screen, we have your boy and mine holding the new Rogue Wrestling Championship belt. I think this is going to be the thumbnail. Ooh, very nice. So if you found us, you probably saw this picture on the thumbnail. And this is what it's all about. It's all about that strap. It's all about that belt. It's all about that championship. And so today we have three competitors. It is a triple threat, no DQ match between Brian Cage, Chris Bay, and Ruby Rays. Now, if you don't think that's a recipe for awesomeness, you don't know what anything good tastes like. So this match was amazing and we're going to get into it right now of course hashtag Pete's Picks. The match started off with a lot of action between Chris Bay and Brian Cage. Chris Bay trying to use his speed, trying to take advantage of the you know his size advantage being the smaller. And he's had the most amount of rust out of everybody. True because he went on first. He was on first so he's had the most amount of rust to be yep. able to fuel up and get ready for this cage. Had a huge match with Hammerstone. And guys oh, if you sure. didn't see that episode what's wrong with you? Right above us right here there's going to be a link to that. Yep. But uh Guys, this was one of the best big guy matches I've seen all year, and I've seen a ton of good big boy matches. Oh, for sure. But see, Chris Bay is not a huge guy. He's a big, strong guy, He's don't get me wrong. He's a finesser. He is a finesser. And he went after the machine. The machine was able to thwart his attack, hit him with kind of a, a flapjack, I guess? I don't know what to yeah. call it. But yeah, and a then- A pop-up, yeah. It was like a pop-up yeah, pop flapjack. Yeah, and then, pop but, but then he started in with Ruby, because he's like, okay, if Cage is out of the way, let's get Ruby. Yeah. But then Cage and Ruby went at it. Cage was not taking it easy on her. She said she's an equal opportunity ass kicker. Well, guess what? <laughs> so was Brian Cage. He was putting the boots to her, gave her a couple of, oh yeah, there's some chops, some punches, some, oh man, this is a and, bad yeah, and, then, and then Bay ended up coming in with his uh, coup de gras to Ruby to break up that pin. Oh yeah. This is a great match. I mean, you guys got to watch this when it comes out on video, but I want to talk about a couple of things. There are a couple of spots that you guys have to know and you have to see. Chris Bay does this great back and forth, I got a video of it, where he's hitting the uh, flying uppercut to both Ruby and Cage. That was a great visual. Then he went up to the top rope and hit a double drop kick on both Ruby and Cage. That was a fantastic spot. And then of course, uh, well there's a whole lot of pictures right here, Encyclopedia is not messing around. Cage was able to come back and mount a little more offense. He was able to hit, uh, oh, and I think Bay went for a, a, a Frankenstein or Hurricane Rana. And then he turned it into a powerbomb. Turned it into a powerbomb, which is fantastic. Of course, Ruby got in the mix. She was hitting some heavy shots in this match. She was probably, well, I mean, Bay had the most rest, but her match was kind of a squash match, so she was pretty fresh as well. And she was bringing it, boy. She was not playing around. She came, she was hitting elbows, she was hitting slams. She hit, man, I got a clip of this too. She hit Cage with the uh, German suplex. Man, she might have Brock Lesnar in there, German suplex and Cage. It was impressive. A lot of back and forth action, a lot of really cool stuff in this match. And then Mr. Cage goes out and he grabs himself a table. After all, this is a no DQ match. And why not have a great equalizer? Hell like no, yeah, it's easy to go. And so then what do we see? We see Cage went out to the ring. He got the, or he got the table. He went to get another table. As he went around to reach under the ring, something happened on that side. Pete, tell him what happened. Uh, well, you know, the equal opportunity ass kicker mm. uh, took Bay out. Well, oh, yeah, unfortunately. But what happened to Cage? See, I didn't see it. My kid had to tell me what happened. A certain Weta Loca was over there on that side of the ring. And when Cage came over to reach under and grab another table, she hit him with a, was it a wine glass or a wine bottle? Yeah. She hit him with something hard and heavy. Took him out. And knocked the machine clean the hell out. And while he was outside of the ring, the Chingona herself was able to put Chris Bay, dashing Chris Bay, the ultimate finesser, through a table and pin him for the one, the two, and the three, but not just the three count, but for the championship. Ruby Rays is the champion at Rogue Wrestling number three, the Thanksgiving throwdown. You see it right here in Pete's picks. And then that wasn't it though. Pete, tell us what happened next. Well, she showed up. She showed up. Now, not only loca. Yeah, she uh, she clearly ha has her eyes on the prize. That's, she does. That, that's why I think she was at ringside because she uh, she wanted a shot at whoever won the title, and clearly she's got something for Ruby. She's got she, her eyes on Ruby. She took out Cage, and then she wanted to take out Ruby. There was some some heated smack talk in the ring back and forth between the Chingona and between Weta Loca. They were talking a whole lot of trash, back and forth trash. And of course, Taya went to the crowd, and the crowd loves them some Taya Valkyrie. And of course, the crowd loves them some Ruby Rays as well. So there's a little bit of back and forth. I think the crowd was a little split on that one. I'm not sure who they're rooting for for this next one, but our man. 
The man of the hour, always sweet, never sour, Mr. It's Cody, right? Yes. Mr. Cody, the El Jefe, as Melissa called him, the boss of Rogue Wrestling. He came out to the ring, he grabbed himself a microphone, and he started to talk a little bit, and this is what the man had to say. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Johnny Rogue, or I don't know what to call him, right? Johnny Rogue in the he's, house. He's punched his ticket already. Already punched his ticket. And now his wife, Miss, Mrs., I don't know, the tie of Valkyrie is ready We're and alone. willing to take on Ruby Ray. So I don't know how this is going to shake down. I, I want to see this. I want to see this at the next Rogue Wrestling, guys. I want to see this match. I have no idea when the next Rogue is, but Doesn't my, matter. I'm going to be there. I will be there with both I am a fan. You are a fan? So I missed the second one. The second one was called Grand Prix. Um, okay. That's where they crowned another individual champion. Okay. Um, I said I was gonna go to that show because I saw the original pictures of when Vipress and Priscilla won, and okay. I said, I gotta go to this. All right. And I didn't for the second one because I was still kind of mad at the venue, but I couldn't miss this one, and yeah. I will never miss Rogue again. So guys, I think the next one is a job. tournament of champions, right? Uh, no, they're gonna crown one more champion, I think, and then, and then, and then, the tournament, and then, and then tournament of champions. Okay, makes sense. This is fantastic, guys. The production value of this, 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 this promotion, let's just call it this company, Rogue Wrestling, was fantastic. Probably the highest I've seen. Well, PCW is pretty high, too. For sure. And like I said, you know, when you see this on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you consume this, guys, uh, you're going to see that it's ultra high end. They were shooting oh, yeah. this with red cameras. They were shooting with black magic cameras. Mm. They were shooting this with very high end stuff because this is a high end quality product. And uh, we failed to mention most of the time that Joshua Shibata and Kathy Campanelli have oh, been doing sure. commentary on all of this. So you have two of the best and brightest in commentary yep. calling these matches. You got two of the best referees in the ring with Nick and Isaac. You got Melissa. freaking Melissa Santos as the ring announcer. This was top notch, guys. This was amazing. So if you missed it, you're forgiven, but don't miss the next one because the Jag will be there. The this Kitty is a must. This there. is, again, like if there's a, if you're on that limited budget or that limited time to go see wrestling, PCW's on the list, Rogue is on the list. Damn right. So that's it for us and for this show. We were impressed. We will definitely be back. We are definitely fans of Rogue Wrestling. So make sure you follow along. Subscribe. Hit the bionic elbow on that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell so you get notified anytime there's a new video. Follow us online. Make me a fan 316 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, I don't know what's coming on tomorrow, but we will have new content for you every day at 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. So I think that's it, Encyclopedia. You got that's anything to add? No, I think you guys are going to be surprised. We're going to actually do... Uh, a real review of a match. Ooh, match recap time. Are you guys ready for that? You guys ready for some matches? The P, not the P, the encyclopedia is gonna show me some new things, some things I haven't seen before, some some beyond wrestling, I believe. Well, that's a hell of a tease. It is a hell of a tease. So tune in tomorrow for some beyond wrestling and the Jag and the encyclopedia are gonna watch a match, talk a little trash, and then uh, we'll have some more content for you the day after because we are every day 9 a.m. Pacific or noon on the East Coast? Damn right. We are prolific and gifted, and we're going to keep doing this for the rest of our lives. Well, 
At least until <laughs> at least until we're we're booked to travel and we're on planes and stuff we can't do it. I don't know. But then, that's it. Then then we'll just do it like with a little vlog camera. So yeah, we'll really. It, we'll just do it from uh, yeah, from Economy Plus. We'll just be like, hey, uh, we're just gonna put this between the headrests. You know, it's okay, guys. We're, just, we're filming for our YouTube show. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, that's it for us today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave us any comments so you can join the conversation, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.